is open for everyone. <laughs> for everyone. Welcome to Threadcast. Yeah, that's better than that. Season Welcome. 6, <laughs> season six <laughs> episode 9. Woo! Woo! Here we go. Did everyone have a nice Thanksgiving? Yes. Yeah. Good. Yep. Yeah. Now that we got that out of the way, <laughs> maybe we should introduce ourselves. I'm Jeff. No, Paul Thompson. How about our sound and video engineer? I am Ryan, the sound and video engineer. Ladies. Hello, I'm Whitney. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm Pete. Uh huh. Welcome back. We've established everyone had a good Thanksgiving. We're on to season six, episode nine. Got uh, what do we got in store for today, guys? Uh, Rushmore. We do have Mount Rushmore. Yep. Trivia. And my and my segment. That's right. Beat Noel. Yep. And we might have a new segment that's still in the works. Um, Jeff, you want to tell people about it? A dating. Uh, yes, Pete. Who wants to date Jeff on the podcast? <laughs> Who wants to date Jeff on the podcast? So is your date going to be on the podcast? Like that's where you have your first date? No. Well, maybe we, I think, I think this is like a, a workshop where we figure out what happens. So um, that's it. more to yeah. come. That's a, a tease. They call that in the business. Um, more to come later in the show. On who wants to date Jeff on the podcast? What about if we keep it PG? I think we should probably keep it PG. <laughs> Great idea. Uh, yes, a P. That's kind of part of my plan. That's a good plan. All right, more to come on that. Yeah. Anything else? All right, nope. Jeff. You want to take us to break? Yes, Pete. We'll be right back. All right, we're back, and we need everyone's help in workshopping a new segment here on the podcast. Jeff, tell them what the idea is. Okay, the idea is, who wants to take Jeff on the podcast? There you go. That's all we got. What do we have for ideas? This is like the behind the scenes at the Strivecast right now. We're doing, this is like a staff meeting. We're trying to figure out the segment and how it would work. So kind of an open forum. And if you have ideas on how it should work, send them to us, strivecast at pslstrive.org. As you heard earlier in the show, we are going to try to keep it PG. So please keep that in mind as well. <laughs> All right. Who's got thoughts? Uh, Jeff, it's your your life and your segment. How do you think it should go? Um, I, I think that... Um... Big smile from Jeff. <laughs> Um, I think I'll be interested. Okay. But how do you want it to work? Oh, um, um, actually, I really don't know, but I need a lot of help with this. Help with dating or help with the segment? Uh, maybe help with the segment. Okay. You can take her out to movies. How do we find who she is, though, is the question. Oh, who she is. How can we find this woman? That's the question. <laughs> That's the question of the day, right there. Oh, maybe go to a dance studio on the podcast. Yeah, where's a good no, one thing to find one for a day? Oh. Maybe Jeff could share what he's looking for. It's a good idea. Oh, is she on Where the World Is Carmen San Diego? <laughs> oh, is she Carmen San Diego. Second Carmen San Diego reference this week. <laughs> Okay, Jeff, that's what are you looking good... for? Um, uh, I'm, looking for, I'm looking for uh, the girls who are not blondes. Girls who are not blondes. <laughs> uh, uh, that's not right. Why? What What's blondes? wrong with blondes? <laughs> um, actually, um, this is preference. Just are wondering. They, are they too much for you? <laughs> Um, um, I, th- I think Noel is right. I, I, yeah, I think Noel is right about that. 
uh, uh, because um, uh, uh, because I have a little trouble with with blondes because um they 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 they're too ne negative. <laughs> what? I don't know. Uh, oh, I I just don't get. Uh, I don't I I don't really. I, I get kind of nervous. Around oh, um, okay. Around blondes. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a. Yeah. Why aren't you nervous around people with brown hair? <laughs> um, actually, uh, hair. Uh, uh, brown hair is fine. Yes. Um, <laughs> what about black hair? Uh, black hair is fine. Actually. Red hair. Okay. Red. Oh, gray hair. Uh, uh, you don't want to date a, a grandmother, do you? No. Oh, what? <laughs> not, not gray hair. No. <laughs> Some people feel uh, gray early. In life, oh, yes, great early. Yeah, <laughs> um, I mean, I think of about the medium, medium hair. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> so far, we've got not a blonde. Well, no, <laughs> not a blonde, but has hair. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, but I don't mind, I, I don't mind blonde. But... All right, how old are we talking? <laughs> and, um, 57. <laughs> You know, like my hair, you know, the one that Winnie has. Okay. Okay, how old though? <laughs> um, about maybe like my age. Okay. Long hair, short hair. But no goatee. <laughs> no. Hopefully not a goatee. goatee. Okay, long hair or short hair? Um uh, uh a little bit long, but not very short. A little bit long, but not very short. Okay. Curly or straight? Probably straight. Okay. We should have like a sketch artist, like <laughs> drawing this up for us. No goatee. Do you want them to be, did we just ask this tall, tall or short? No, nope, we haven't asked that yet. Tall, short, or does it matter? Um, It doesn't really matter. Okay. <clears throat> what else, guys? What do you got, Noel? Um, uh, how about like uh, athletic? Yes, that's right. Yeah. Or intellectual, or both? Uh, yes, uh, that would be <laughs> both. <Okay. laughs> both. Yeah. I think... All right. Um, outgoing or shy? Um, I think outgoing. Okay. Hmm. Um, outgoing and probably athletic as well. You know, like walking and stuff. Yes. Okay. Outgoing and somewhat athletic, likes to go for walks. What do they like for hobbies? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, uh, actually, hobbies. Um, you know, like um, maybe like. Hot chocolate or something like that. It, it, you know, right, walk into Starbucks or mm -hmm. All right. Walking to Starbucks and getting a hot chocolate sounds like a good first date. It does. <laughs> uh, it, 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 yeah, but I got to be there first. But I haven't got well, that. I got to be there. <laughs> <laughs> good you know point. You don't have, uh, have to be there. <laughs> All right. So if you're a lady that's out there with hair, no goatee. <laughs> Medium length, not blonde, um, not too short, not too tall, um, likes to go for walks, um, likes heavy hot chocolate. Feet. What? Heavy feet. Heavy feet? <laughs> heavy feet. Hairy heavy feet. feet. No. That's, this is, we'll do your date next. Uh, <laughs> send us an email, strivecast at pslstrive.org. Um, tell us why you should date Jeff. <laughs> Maybe we'll pay for the <laughs> best one to go out on a date with Jeff. Uh, yes, and I'm very interested. <laughs> okay, you heard it here first. So this may or may not be a regular segment. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep you posted on how it goes. Like that email again, ladies, is strivecast at pslstrive.org. <laughs> Anything else, Jeff? Look at that face. Who wouldn't want to date that? <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> All right. Anything else from Noel, Ryan? You guys want to chime in on this? Uh, no. Anything else there? No. Okay, Jeff, you want to have the last words on your segment? Um, I think I'm okay, Pete. Okay, what's the segment called again? Who wants to date Jeff on the podcast? <laughs> Who wants to date Jeff on the podcast? There you go. Right. All right. Want to take us to break? Yes. We'll be right back. Hey, yay! <laughs> For the Swipecast, Legal Shield and Empowering Family Sense 1972 Dependent Children with Challenges Covered for Life. Your local representatives. N- Nova, not Nola, Fantasy, 207-776-0302. Thanks, Nola. Thanks, Legal Shield. We appreciate you. All right. Great job, Noel. Jeff, want to take us a break? Uh, yes, Pete. We'll be right back. Welcome back. To the game that's sweeping the nation, Strivia. Who wants a score update? I do. I would. Oh, everybody. Great. I would, Alex. Let me get my score notebook out. <laughs> In fifth place, we have Jeff with 12 points. Great job, Jeff. Alex. In fourth place, we have Noel with 15 points. Good job, Noel. Third, we have Ryan, 18.5. Keep up the good work, Ryan. Second place, we have Pete with 21 points. Great work. Thank you. And in first place still, we have Whitney with 23 points. It Ooh, is anybody's game, though. Anybody's. Anybody's game. We still got a long season ahead of us. Did she see the answers from where she's sitting? No. Okay. Nope. My paper is top secret. Okay. Just checking. <laughs> No cheating in trivia. All right. Are you guys ready for this week's topic? Born ready. Tomorrow is, um, someone told me, one of Pete's favorite holidays, International Square Dancing Day. Are you ready for some square dancing? If I know anything about Pete, it's that he loves square dancing. That's right up his alley. I can actually square dance with Pete. Perfect. Next time. Everyone's here. We can have some actual in-person square dancing. I, I hope you two not making this up. If Peter does dance, I don't, but other time when we get together before with me and Peter, I haven't seen him dance since his wedding. Did he square dance at <laughs> the wedding? Did not. Was that the first <laughs> dance, a square <laughs> dance? Yeah, uh, no, we did not. There was no square dancing at my wedding. All right, question number one. Let's get down to business. Thank you. How many people do you traditionally need to square dance? How many people total do you need to square dance? Is this like a minimum? It's like just the number. Traditionally, you need this number of people to have it be a square dance. Yes, Jeff? Um. I say I go with maybe 30. 30? Okay. Uh, Noel. 40. 40. Uh, Ryan. I think four. Whitney. I was also going to say four. I think that's the minimum you need. And Pete. I was going to say one or two. Like, I'm going to go two. Uh, you are all wrong. The oh. correct answer is eight. Eight. Two wow. people in each corner. So four couples of eight, two, eight people total wow. square dance. We'll I give said... half a point to Ryan and Whitney for being close. I said four because what? I how many corners are in a square. That was a good guess, <laughs> but it was wrong. <laughs> I thought I said eight. Eight. That's right, Jeff. <laughs> 
plus 0.5 to Ryan and Whitney. All right. Question two. Nuts and bolts. How many states have designated square dance as their official state dance? Oof. I'll give you a hint. It's one through 50. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. How many states? How many states? Also, after, can we look up what the state dance of Maine is? Maybe it's Does a every question. state have a dance? Why don't you just um, hold off for okay. a second? <laughs> uh, hey, Alex? Yes, Jeff? I think I'll go with 50. 50? All 50? Okay. Uh, Whitney? I'm going to say seven. Seven? Pete? I'm going to say three. Ryan? Ten. And Noel? Noel? Eight. Eight. You guys all guessed very low, except for Jeff. Uh, technically, Ryan was the closest, though. The answer is 31. 31 wow. states have square dance as their state dance. I hate 31, Alex. <laughs> 31. 31 states enjoy square dancing. <laughs> Winnie, I'm so glad you waited, because our first bonus <laughs> question, worth five points, is what is the state dance of Maine? Is this a trick? There is one. I can't tell you that. Oh, I got one that looks. What do you think it is, Jeff? This is worth five points. Um, <laughs> I was thinking about maybe eight or nine. We need a name of a dance, Jeff. Oh, oh it's the state oh, dance uh, of Maine. Salsa. Salsa, I guess. Who wants to guess next? No. A hoedown. A hoedown. Good guess. Ryan? I don't know. Do you want to take a guess? Maybe a dance studio? I don't know. Dance studio? Whitney? I'm going to say the waltz. The waltz? <laughs> and Pete? I will go with the cha-cha. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> no points for anyone. That was a trick question. There is no state dance of Maine. No oh, state dance of Maine. No, I think this is a perfect oh. opportunity to campaign for a state dance of Maine. Oh, oh, oh um, I'll cha cha slide. <laughs> well, well, it's, it's not a hold down because that's not a state. <laughs> so hey, nobody I, gets five points. Yes, Jeff. I, I was thinking, um, I need ballroom I did, I, dancing. That would be a good state dance, ballroom dancing. Yeah, so as in state dance competitions, then mm -hmm. dance places, but it doesn't mean state dance competitions. Yeah, at this so point, 30, 31 states have the square dance, and Maine doesn't have any. How many other ones don't have any? Uh, a good number. I don't know the exact number, but wow. I can see that. So is the few. only state dance the square dance, and then everyone else just has none? Maybe. Does I the square the dance the like have an association or something that lobbies? <laughs> like, yeah, wow. well, it's right. like 19 other don't. Yeah. Hmm. There, were, there were some states that didn't have. Very high percentage then on the old square dance front. Classic. Classic. All right. Speaking of square dance, what instrument is most associated with square dancing? Let's see. Um, I th I think it's part of the tuba. Tuba. Okay. <laughs> <The> tuba. <Yes. laughs> think, uh, saxophone. Saxophone. Okay. Yeah. And also, there could be more instruments, but this is the one that's like traditionally associated with the square dance. So, just going saxophone. Yes. Okay. Uh, Ryan, what do you think? Um, the tambourine. Tambourine. Good guess. Pete? I'm going to go fiddle. Fiddle. Good guess. I'm going to go with the recordian. Recorder, you mean? Recorder or... Yeah, recorder, I think. Or, or accordion. Accordion. Or recorder. Like, it's, it, it's like, like a flute, but it's not. The it's like a, It's like a piano, but... You go to oh, that's a different thing. accordion. Yeah. Okay. And like, Whitney. I was actually also going to agree with Noel and say the accordion. That was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> One of you didn't get it right though. <laughs> Point for Pete. It is the fiddle. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with uh, uh, Pete's idea with uh, a fiddle. Correct, but no points, Jeff. Sorry. Okay. All right, we got one more question about square dancing and some bonus questions about dancing. Yes. This, this is hard. It, it is. is hard. 
Square Dance moves have a name. There's a multiple choice to this question. What okay. is that name? Are they called A, steps, B, moves, C, calls, or D, phases? Steps. What are the dance moves in square dance called? No. Steps. Steps. Whitney? I, it didn't go well for me last time, but I am agreeing with Noel again and saying steps. Okay. <laughs> Pete? I'll go calls. Ryan? I'll go steps. And Jeff? Um, I think I'm going with, uh, with uh, no uh, steps. You guys should have learned your lesson last time. <laughs> <laughs> it's not steps. <laughs> Although, point for Pete, because it is calls. <laughs> oh. Let's go! Oh, I got a hell oh. oh, yeah, it is cause because when they call this. Swing festival. your partner around and around. <laughs> yeah. I told you at the be beginning that square dancing is not called beating him. We're not really beating him. Right, 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 and whoopsie right, doopsie. Right, 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 right. Let's get on to the bonus. <laughs> All right. This one is some bonus questions start now. Okay. Which of the following celebrities has not won Dancing with the Stars? Oh, boy. There is a multiple choice. This is one to go with Noel on. <laughs> Which of the following celebrities has not won Dancing with the Stars? A, Lance Bass. B, Emmett Smith. C, Charlie D'Amelio. D, Kelly Pickler. Or E, Drew Lachey. Oh, boy. Uh, um, I, I said E, Lachey. <laughs> okay. Is this has not? Correct, has not won. Lance. Lance? Yep. Pete? I'm going to go Kelly Pickler. Ryan? I'll go with C. Charlie D'Amelio and... I was actually going to say Kelly Pickler. Well, Whitney, this time you should have gone with Noel. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. You didn't beat Noel. (laughs) <laughs> well, at least Pete didn't get the point. No, was right on that one. Everyone else has won except for Lance Bass. I don't think Lance Bass has actually ever been on Dancing with the Stars, but I could be, be wrong. Because he's with Beck to in sync. Oh. Back to in sync. Back to in sync. <laughs> All right, this one is an opportunity for everybody to get some points. Ooh, some. I point? need you to name just one point. Name a movie. That prominently features dancing. Tell me a movie that has a lot of dancing in it. Oh, 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 oh! oh. No, raise his hand first. We call it Footloose. Footloose. We do call it. Footloose. We call it. <laughs> Correct. No point for no. What? What do you think, Pete? Uh, dirty Dancing. Point for Pete. Jeff. Um. Uh. I can go with uh with uh Pete. Nope. No repeating movies. Do you have another uh, one? Oh, um, you can think about it if you need to. Actually, it's Jason. Uh, no, no, I was gonna say, um, Jason with the stars. Not a movie. Think about it. Think about it. No, uh, Jack, we'll come back to you. Okay, Ryan cool. or Whitney, you guys have one? Oh, I have one. Greece. Greece. Good one. In the chat. Whitney. Uh, a yeah. young Whitney favorite, Center Stage. Center Stage. Classic. Oh, dancing. Can I do another so, one? Yeah, it, let's keep going. What about oh, High School Musical? High School Musical point for Whitney. Hey, High School yes. Musical 2. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just... Who? <laughs> Alex. It was yes. a Grease team. Hey, Jeff, I got I got you one. Okay. Um, when it, Your favorite soundtrack was Spentacular? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Alex. Yes. Spectacular. What movie is it? What, is that a movie? Yeah, it's a, it's a, a Nickelodeon TV show. Oh. Soundtrack. It's still not a movie, then. Yes, it is a movie. Okay. I... Point for yeah. Jeff. <laughs> yeah. This is up to Alex to figure out. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's called Spectacular. It's it a movie? It did, like, in it. 
I believe you. Dancing. I believe you. Yeah. Does anyone else have one other one they want to share before we move on? Yeah, that was like the sequel like Grease 2, though. Grease 2, point for Ryan, that counts. Okay. No? What about Mamma Mia? Mamma Mia, great one. And a musical would be in the Or about, I know another Abba, that is a band, one. Jeff. Yeah. Bohemian Rhapsody. Good one. Step up. That's exactly what I was waiting for someone to say, step, step up. up. <laughs> yeah, about Bohemian Minnie Rhapsody. Oh, yeah, oh, good one, Ryan. Yes, Jeff. Last word for this question. Um. Uh, um. Stay alive. Stay alive. Uh, uh, stay alive. Did you say save the last dance, Jeff? Great <laughs> one. Point for Jeff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one. Last dance. Good one. All right. Final question. This one is also worth five points. Oh, here we go. You can earn five points if you show me a dance move. Okay. Put out of. Okay, go Jeff. Jeff's first. <laughs> okay, five points for Jeff. What is that dance move, Jeff? It's your life. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, yes. Jeff did say he was going to sing on the podcast today. There we go. Oh, yeah. All right, Noel, did you have one? Yo, oh, okay. I don't. Ah. Oh. <laughs> if you're listening on our audio version, you got to get to a social media platform and watch the dance moves. Be a lot of space. Ola's is limbering up. Oh, he's putting his feet in that you can't see. This what is, is this the, ho- the hokey pokey. The <laughs> Put your left foot in and you shake it all up. The hokey pokey. <laughs> Oh, it it it's Brian Adams and step um the one with um heart and fire. Hmm. So we went from square dancing to Brian Adams. All in one. <laughs> I'll give you five points for that, Noel. Who's next, Ryan? Do you have a dance move? It's, oh. You can do that. Like it's, why am Ooh, nice one, Ryan. Ryan. Yeah, classic. It it's, Peter Whitney. Put something on me by Brian Adams. <laughs> put something on me. No. So I'm gonna do a plie. Oh. She was on camera, but she. We well, can't see. No, that doesn't count. <laughs> why? Well, I was you can see the it. one that's doing the game. Oh, here goes it. I might just rip my pants. <laughs> oh my I heard something snap. I did rip oh. up. But uh, they were on their last leg. <laughs> but the Where pants are still on. Oh. <laughs> point for There's a pun. Thank you. <laughs> See, it was your dance move. No, thank you. You don't earn five points? Nope, not that much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not even a good old stir of the soup? No, that's my move. <laughs> what I was saying. I also like raise the roof. I guess I'll do that. We'll count. Raise, raise the roof. Uh, 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 there you go, Jeff. What I, what I was saying before, Alex and Renee, um, about <coughs> not square dancing, Peter, but since I met you, you haven't danced since your wedding. Not square dancing, but dancing in general. I, I think I have danced since my wedding. I, I'm not a big dancer, though. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Continue to talk about dancing while I do some math. <laughs> okay. I danced at Whitney's wedding. Oh, someone, I, 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 it's an it's a acorn. I think dancing. An acorn? Yeah. It was the acorn. I don't know about dance. Show us. <laughs> I, I can't. Icarus do not dance. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I guess I do know that dance. <laughs> All right. Wow, that's a lot of points today, guys. Remember that dance I did on Zoom in Susie's house? Nope. The the ladybug. The ladybug. I do remember <laughs> that. <laughs> I do. Yeah, that was at Strive Rocks. Yeah. Can you do that again. That yeah, let's do it. Yeah. You were like a dead ladybug or something. Oh. 
Hold on, Jeff. Oh, Noel's getting ready. Oh, he's up. He's on his feet. He's oh, moving the chair out of the way. He's doing. Oh, oh boy. Oh, he's <laughs> doing the ladybug something. Yeah, the ladybug dance. Wow. There you go. Is that from something or did you just make it up? <laughs> from the m- m- movie um... Ladybugs. No. A Bug's Life. Yeah. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Huh. Let's see your best square dance moves. I don't really have some. Oh, Jeff is up on his feet. Oh, he, look at that. That's pretty good, Jeff. I think. Another point for Jeff for square dancing. That's good, Jeff. Wow. Oh, look All at right. him go. He's dozy doing and boot scoot boogieing and he's. The boot- the tush push. <laughs> tush push. <laughs> He's doing the tush push. He's got wow. We're seeing it all right now, ladies and gentlemen. All right, are we ready for some score updates? Whew. Yeah, a yes. lot of points for everybody this round. In fifth place, we have Jeff with twenty-one points. Twenty-one. Big Great day. job, Jeff. Thank you, Alex. In fourth place, we have Noel with twenty-three points. Oh, it's getting Good close. Yeah. In third place, we have Ryan with 28 points. Oh. In second place, we have Pete with 31 points. Mm-hmm. In first place, still holding on by half a point, we have Ooh. Whitney with 31.5 <laughs> points. I should get a full point for ripping my pants. I did get an extra point for that. Look. She gave you an extra point for that. She gave you half a point for being close. I mean, what more do you want? <laughs> Great job, everybody. Fix Come back in. next week for another round of Strivia. Jeff, would you take us to break, please? Yes, Alex will be Pay for a point, Jeff. Yeah. All right, yeah. we're back. <laughs> it's time for what, Noel? To beat Noel. It is time to beat Noel. All right, so... We have a lot of categories to beat Noel today. So Noel's going to try to number a number of things. And uh, Alex is going to spin the wheel for you right now. Noel, are you ready? Yeah. All right. Let's see what we got. The technology is so strong here <laughs> on the podcast. What do we got? I, Alex, it is. Hey, toothpaste brands. <laughs> toothpaste brands. Types of toothpaste. Okay. Noel, are you ready? How many? I think you can get five. Okay. How many do you think you can get? I can get five. Okay. All right. In 30 seconds on the clock, on your mark, get set, go. Quest, Bogate, um, the one with the muscle in the ball. <laughs> Arm and hammer. Arm and hammer. Um, 15 seconds. The one with the rainbow with the top aim, I think. Yeah. And, and with five seconds. Uh, Quick. Three. Two. One. Time. Yeah. All right. So Noel got four big ones. Jeff, do you think you can beat him in types of toothpaste? Uh, yes. You think you can beat Noel? Okay, we'll put thirty seconds on the clock. Are you ready to beat Noel? Yeah. Three, two, one. Beat Noel. Um, arm and hammer and crust and um, uh, white toothpaste. <laughs> Twelve seconds. Um, Ten seconds. Uh, I, I think that's all I have. Okay. Then you unfortunately. Did not beat Noel. Uh, yeah, I would have tried, but it just... Okay, yeah. good try. I think right, I Ryan, can that. you do it? Yes. All right, 30 seconds on the clock for Ryan. I will say we do not accept crust toothpaste. <laughs> oh. I know what he meant, though. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. Arm and Hammer, Colgate, Crest, Aim, Tom's. Twelve seconds 
Sensodyne. Oh, good one. Three, two, one. Time is up. All right, but Ryan has done it. He has beat Noel in the toothpaste Great. category. Great Sensodyne, job. a pull from the depths at the last second. So, Noel, you want to do one more? Okay. All right. Let's let's uh, have Alex spin the magic wheel again. And see what we got. Spin back the wheel. The wheel is spinning. The wheel is coming to a close on a yellow space. Date movies. Date movies. Oh yes. Yeah. This is. I'm gonna think Noel's gonna dominate this. I'm gonna <laughs> think he's gonna get like six or seven, but I'll say six. Okay. Date movies, Noel. Are you ready? Yes. 30 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one. Tell us your date. Okay, 17 again. 50 first dates. Big Daddy. Grown Ups. And. <laughs> um, Billy Madison. <laughs> and... 10 seconds. Happy Gamble. <laughs> Cable guy. Cable guy. Cable guy. Seven. <laughs> the way are all those actually date movies though? I've heard of them, but I don't know if all of them actually are. Well, I think some of those might be debatable, but <laughs> well, I guess whatever you want to watch on a date is a date movie, right? Oh, I thought the movie itself has to be about dating, not the movie oh. you watch with. Um, good question. Yeah, that context they didn't really get there. I was thinking it was a movie you would watch on a date, but I no, thought the those context all movies was about dating. dating? The- yeah, I guess it. I guess it wasn't clear about if the category itself was supposed to be the movies themselves about dating or what you do with the watch. Good lesson learned for our <laughs> ask Noel beat Noel team here. Yeah, that was good. I was also thinking just movies you'd watch on a date, but good. it's a good. Yeah, I did. Good I, thought, I Ryan. It's hard to say for the context of that on this. Yeah. Thing. All right, Jeff. Do you think you can beat? How many did you get, Alex? Seven. Seven. Can you beat seven date movies? Movies that you would watch on a date. Oh. What's that? Yes. Uh, I think I'll just uh, pass. You're gonna. Jeff is gonna pass. So he <laughs> did not be no. For the moment, uh, watch on the date. I think I guess we can name up some. You think you can do it? Yeah. All right. Ryan is ready. Three, two, one, go. Fever pitch. Um. Wedding crashers. Grease, Footloose, uh, 17 again, Love Action. Good one. Two seconds, one more. American oh, Pie. Time is up, time is up. I don't think that one counted. So is that seven? That was six. Six, so mm-hmm. Ryan, this time you did not yeah. beat Noel. You took him down in the land of toothpaste, <laughs> but not in date movies. Yeah. All right. Noel, one for one on the day, or one for two, I guess. Congratulations. Yeah. Um, anything else you would like to talk about in your segment? I don't think so. Okay. Then, Jeff, would you like to take us to break? Yes, Pete, we'll be right back. We're back, and it's time for my segment. All right. Jeff's segment, the Mount Rushmore of, and we've got a lot of categories today. We've actually loaded up a wheel for Jeff. Um, Jeff, you want Alex to spin it? Here we go. Oh, uh, yes. The wheel is spinning. I think. No, it's spinning. Oh, here we go. Wheel is spinning. Look at this technology, computer on computer. <laughs> and I can't read it, but I think it donuts! says donuts. 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 All right. So, Jeff, give us the Mount Rushmore of donuts. What are the four best donuts of all time? Okay. One is chocolate. Okay. One is glaze. Okay. And um, and coconut. Coconut. Okay. And uh, and um. Cream 
filling donut. All right. There you go. Those good are pretty good. Man. That's a pretty high bar that Jeff's got. All right, Noel, what do you got? Best four best donuts of all kind, all time. Oh, okay. Coconut. Yep. Blueberry. Ooh, blueberry's a new contestant. Jelly donut. Uh, jelly was one of mine. Jelly and peanut butter donut. Oh, I could actually be into that. Um, I know. Is there a chance it's potato donut? I think mm-hmm. so. Yeah, that's I, all. Uh, holy donut. Holy donuts are potato donuts. Potato donut. And squash donut. Don't know if I've heard of that one. <laughs> okay. All right, Ryan, what do you got? Well, there's a lot of um don't like favorite donuts or just you know. best donuts of all kind all time. I mean I like the holy donut and kind of donuts, but like as far as flavors, I mean I like chocolate glaze, like even mm-hmm. holy donuts <laughs> with the uh, sea salt ones that are good too. No good. Okay, you got two more? I like the donut with like the jelly in it. Classic. And, um, How do you do that? like pumpkin donuts. Ooh, okay, good pumpkin. one, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, Wit, what do you got? Um, I like an apple cider donut. Classic. A strawberry frosted donut. And then my other ones are ones that have been said. Go ahead. I like the blueberry donut and a just a regular old chocolate glazed donut. Okay. Alex? Um, I feel like all mine have been said too. I do love a Boston cream donut mm-hmm. though. Oh, yes. Love a Boston okay. cream There's donut. a new one. Um, like a, a maple frosted donut. Okay. Um, just like not what's the just plain sugar, just sugar donut, not powdered sugar, but the other kind, cinnamon sugar, cinnamon sugar donut. Okay. Um, and Ryan said it, but I gotta go pumpkin donut. All right. And, and, and how about uh, how about uh, peach, uh, peach, peach donut, brown donut. <laughs> um. <laughs> I would go for new ones that haven't been said. It's really hard at this point. I, I'd go the there's like a jelly frosted glazed one. I think it's like a essentially like a glazed jelly donut. I'll go with that. Um, the old school, old fashioned, traditional like plain. I can get behind that. Don't roll any ring till your nose. <laughs> um, there's one with like the bacon on it. Ooh, yeah. Um, Ooh, the totally bacon donut. Big. What's that? Oh, I said a bacon donut. Thank you. Um, and then I would go with sprinkles. Like mm, a I'm sprinkles. Alex, I'm surprised you didn't say that. How do I miss sprinkles? There you go. Roll your nose up at that. <laughs> All right. So, Jeff, what's the worst bottom bottom of the mountain? What are the worst for? Um, worst about, types of donuts out there. Um, how about sewer like, donuts? Sewer donut? <laughs> donut? That would be the worst. I think you got a winner right there. <laughs> sewer donut. <laughs> goldfish donut. Goldfish donut, Noel? Is that what you said? No, it's swordfish. Swordfish donut. Swordfish. Well, still bad. <laughs> okay. And cream cheese. Cream cheese, also bad. Well, it... And macaroni and lobster donut. <laughs> okay. I would eat right. that. Jeff, do you have any other bad ones for the... Bottom of the mountain? No. I think that's a no. <laughs> I think that's also a no. <laughs> Jeff, are you getting ready to swallow a donut? What are you doing? Uh, um, I wish we were eating donuts uh, right now. Uh, I was thinking about um, about a soda. A soda like donut. Soda donut? Noel could get behind that. Oh yeah, um, Noel's one of Noel's favorite episodes is when we had the people come in from Holy Donut. Yep, I remember. All right, Ryan, what do you got? The worst donuts. It's um, <laughs> hard to say, but um, I like a lot of them, but I think there's 
There would be some bizarre ones they would think are weird as donuts. So. Mm -hmm. Whitney, Alex, got any bad ones you want to throw out there? Or just a regular donut. I'm not into jelly. I don't love jelly yeah. either. I also don't love powdered sugar. It's messy. Oh, a trash donut. Ew. Trash. Trash donut. Also known as an apple donut. <laughs> <laughs> you like those apple cider donuts. Donut. Yeah. Who, if you don't like apple cider donuts, you're lying. <laughs> I was just lying. I do like apple cider donuts. <laughs> This is part of the ongoing podcast feud about apple versus pumpkin. <laughs> well, we should let the record state that in the choice between apple versus pumpkin pie last week at the Strive's Thanksgiving lunch, Alex chose apple repeatedly. <laughs> Just not true. <laughs> <laughs> I have witnesses. All right. All right. Do we have one more category for Jeff? Sure. Let's She's spin the wheel again, Jeff. <laughs> All right. What else is going to be on the mountain today? Nope. Wheel is stubborn. Now spinning. Okay. I've got <laughs> no idea what that says. I believe it's things to bring to a party. Oh, boy. Things to bring to a party, Jeff. What are the top four things you would like to bring to a party? Um, I think probably... Nachos. Mm, awesome. Them straight off the bat. <laughs> or maybe Nacho Talaire. What's that? What? Nacho Talaire? Yeah. I don't know what that is. Well, it's a hot as in. Hot what? Oh. <laughs> oh, Nacho Talaire. Nacho Talaire. The hot Mexican treats. Oh, great. Well, that seems nice to bring. Uh, yeah, you know, maybe chips and dip and salsa. Like chips and dips and salsa. Okay. Yeah. And then you got one more? Um, in guacamole. Salsa and guacamole. There you go. Boom. All right, Noel, you've been known to bring some interesting things to parties before. Yeah. What do you I'm got? Like, okay. What about a nice cold drink of Hawaiian punch? Okay. A nice cold Hawaiian punch. <laughs> All right. And some warm pretzels. Warm pretzels. Okay. And hot buttery popcorn. Hot buttery popcorn. And cold popcorn. Hawaiian punch. Warm pretzels. And? And popcorn chicken. Popcorn chicken. There you go. Boom. All right, uh, Ryan, you're, what are you bringing to the party? Cookies. Mm -hmm. Cookies is always classic. Chips. Yep. Um, fudge. Ooh. I like this party. The uh, cheese and crackers. Oh, that's a classic. Good one. All right. Whitney? Well, cheese and crackers is my go-to. With some meats. A little charcuterie board? Charcuterie board. Oh, good one. Alex and I saw a charcuterie tree that we want to make for Christmas. Oh. Um, <laughs> a drink of some sort. Podcast Christmas. Hawaiian punch? Maybe. Um, it's called Hawaiian punch. Alex, jump in. <laughs> what do you got? Cake. I would bring some cake. 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 Take ocean. I like a buffalo chicken dip. Ooh, that's a good one. Ooh, that's a good one. Mm. Alex, you just bring four types of cake or what? <laughs> one large cake. <laughs> um, maybe some like sliders, mini sliders. That's good. Um, maybe like a present if it was someone's birthday. Oh, a non-food. Um, and myself. <laughs> 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 what do you think oh. about that, Jeff? <laughs> cheese puffs. Cheese puffs. All right. And cheese puffs. Yeah. I would go with meatballs. Oh, mm. a lot of crock pot things. Those little yeah. um, shout out Elaine Gervais, if you're listening, those kielbasa bites things. Mm. Those are classic. Those are good. Awesome. I, I have another one, actually. Can I switch mine out? 
You can just interrupt me. It's good. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Any weenies. You can finish first. No, go ahead. I was getting excited. Pigs in a blanket. I was just going to say that. Yeah. Okay. Jeff had a, I think Jeff had that too with the the weenies. Um, I was going to say maybe like some music. And then um, some sort of sports game, like a fo- football or a frisbee or wiffle ball bat, something like that to, to play at the party. Oh, I. I do like football. Well, good. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, yeah, because I can kick a part of football. Oh. It's go time. All right. Um, I think, Jeff, do you have anything else for this segment? Uh, no, Pete. I'm all set. Okay. Then would you like to take us to break? Yes, Pete. We'll be right back. Livecast is brought to you by listeners like who? Tanya Selleck. Yeah, our friend Tanya Selleck is our listener of the week. She's one of our diehard podcast listeners. So thanks for listening, Tanya. Thanks, Tanya. Thanks. Thank you, Tanya. And if you want to be a listener of the week, how can they be a listener of the week, guys? Call. Call. Disco. Um, <laughs> It's a so little bit of uh, Twitter. A little bit of Twitter. TikTok. Sure. What else? TikTok. TikTok. Sure. Messages on TikTok, I guess. Yeah. That's a oh, thing. and yeah. What's that? Email strivecast at pslstrive.org. Yeah. Right. Type. Or leave us a message, leave us a review. Send us a message on social media. Tell us you're listening somehow, some way, in person <laughs> even. And uh, you could be listening to the week. So, mm-hmm. you want to take us a break? Yes, Pete. We'll be right back. Wrap it up time. Wrap it up time. Wrap it up. Jeff's got the wrap it up song, which we haven't heard much from lately. Making a reappearance here in season six. Peanut butter jelly, ham, marshmallow, avocado, chicken BLT with a hot dog, <laughs> and a not a garbage truck, but it can be, but a, a, a little <laughs> bit of pepperoni and sour, sweet and sour cream, and hot fudge on a popcorn sandwich. There you go. No, All I edible know. except for the not a garbage truck. That could be a garbage. <laughs> okay. That's the disgusting wrap of the week as we wrap, wrap, wrap it up. Yeah. Um, all right, Ryan. Um, are we still hiring? Yes, we are. Strive is still hiring. And with a sign bonus of $1,750. Check out pslstrive.org slash employment. Great. All right. And what else do we have to talk about? And then we're we'll probably gonna have Strive Rock sometime around next year in the spring. Coming up, we actually started our had our first planning meeting this morning. So stay tuned for exciting news about Strive Rocks 2024 coming up in December. Maybe we'll break the news right here on the podcast. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Jeff, you got anything? Uh, nope. I'm good, Pete. All right. Well, again, if you want to respond to who wants to date Jeff on the podcast. Contest. Email us at strivecast at pslstrive.org. I think that's about it. Oh, you got anything else? I no. Okay. Then uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Uh, yes. Bye. Bye. Bye.